Hey, welcome to Gourmet Fishing. I'm your host, David Murray. On today's show, we're going to create this right here, the Imperial Crab Stuffed Flounder. We're going to serve it with steamed broccoli. So I tell you what, why don't we go ahead and get started right now. Our Imperial Crab Stuffed Flounder, we're going to serve that with some steamed broccoli. So we're going to have our crab stuffed uh, flounder and steamed broccoli. So that's where we are. And let's go ahead and get started. Now, we've got all our ingredients. We've got some uh, sour cream, some Tony Sasseries, kind of that, that good uh, Cajun spice, some Dijon mustard. We've got um, some fresh thyme. We've got shallot. We've got some citrus. We've got uh, lime and lemon. We've got an egg, some parsley that's been chopped up, half a cup of white Vermont cheddar cheese, Right there, we got a pound of claw crab meat. We got our flounder and our broccoli. So I tell you what, why don't we go ahead and get started on our imperial sauce? So tell you what, we're gonna go ahead and move a little bit of this stuff out of the way, rearrange just a tad. We're gonna take this, this because we don't need that or this quite yet. So here we go. We're gonna start out with some sour cream, just like that. Now we gotta come over and grab our spatula because I don't wanna leave any of that. Heck no, man, that's some good stuff. <laughs> now we've got our, um, our Cajun seasoning, just like that. We've got a tablespoon of uh, uh, Dijon mustard. Here we go, just like that. We've got two teaspoons of uh, fresh thyme. Now if you're using dry thyme, you wanna use half as much as fresh thyme. I know up here in my little head, you think you would want to use more fresh than dry, but no, you don't. Usually a, a half to a third uh, is kind of the reduction that you want to do from going from fresh to um, dried. So if you're using dry thyme, use uh, one teaspoon. Now we got a nice uh, heaping uh, tablespoon of minced shallots. We've got a tablespoon of our chopped mince, um, uh, long leaf parsley. Now we're going to need an egg, just like so. Open that up. All right. Now we've made this uh, recipe right here before, um, as kind of like a, a, a main course or 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 an hors d'oeuvre that you uh, or a starter that you serve with some French baguettes, but about the same thing. So now we're going to come in. Um, I tell you what we're going to do. We're going to need a tablespoon of um, of lime juice and a tablespoon of uh, lemon juice. Now you could do two tablespoons of lemon, two tablespoons of lime. You just need two tablespoons of some kind of citrus. But before I squeeze the lime, I'm going to come in and I'm going to uh, take about a, um, about a half of the zest off of this guy right here. So what we're looking for is about the, uh, the zest of half of a complete citrus. So we're going to take this and then we're gonna go ahead and do the same thing with that lime we got down there. Hopefully we won't, we won't make a mess. Okay, so I'm gonna put you here. Now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm, while I'm in here, might as well go ahead and, and get the, uh, the lime also. Knock that off. So, just like so, about made a mess. Okay, one more. And that right there looks good. Okay, so there we go. You know what, you go right there. Now, come in here again with about a tablespoon of lemon juice and this will round out our citrus, just like that. Squeeze it over my hands so I can catch those, uh, those seeds. Okay, so now we're almost done. Yes, we are. Now right now I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna give this a good mix and then we'll add our cheese and we will be ready to move on with our dish. Just like so, yes, okay. All now. Voila. Okay, I tell you what, we're going to now. There we go. That's nice and uh, that's, that looks pretty well combined to me. When we come in here, we got about a half a cup of our um, Vermont white sharp, extra sharp cheddar cheese. Now, you can use whatever cheese you like. I, I, I really like this uh, white sharp Vermont, so that's why I'm using it. You can use, again, whatever cheese you like to use, go for it. Now, we've got that, I'm gonna come in here with a, a generous pinch of pepper. 
just like that. Okay. That's all good. Now I'm going to come grab our crab meat. And we're going to just kind of drop that in there like so. Okay. Now we're just going to fold our Imperial Cream Sauce around and our crab just like that. There we go. Okay. Get that nice. I want all that crab meat to be coated with some of this good old, good old Imperial Sauce. Just like that. But we don't, we'll try not to break up the crab meat. Um, you know, the best crab meat to use is, the, um, is that lump uh, body meat. But this is what I had. So this is what we're going to use. <laughs> so now, I tell you what, I'm going to take this. You know what, we're going we're gonna to use this here real quick in a second. So we're going to leave that right there. Now, step two. I'm going to cook our, um, our crab stuffed flounder in this little au gratin dish. Now I've got, um, I've got a flounder filet. I'm going to lay that in there just like that. So I'm going to come in with a little bit of seasoning, a little pepper. I'm not going to add any salt to this right now because that crab meat has some built-in uh, salt to itself. So let's take and we'll move this out of the way. Now we're going to come in. I mean, this is so simple and so easy. Now we're going to come in here. We're going to spoon our crab meat, our imperial crab, right on top, just like that. Oh, heck yeah, man. Check that out. That is awesome. Get some good lumps in there. Oh, yeah. It is going to be delicious, just like so. Okay, there we are. Okay, it's pretty good serving right there for one person. Now we're going to come in. Tell you what, let's see how we're gonna handle this. We're gonna come in, and I tell you what, I think we're gonna take this one and I'm gonna cut it right down the line, just like that. Okay. Now, well, there we are. And I'm just gonna kind of pull, you know, I'm gonna pull this around kind of like this. Then we're gonna come in with this one and do the same thing, just like that awesome now i'm going to come in with just a little bit more time sprinkle it out on top just like that okay that wasn't a lot now it's time for some pepper like so and i tell you what that's that's gonna be it how hard is that man that is a simple simple dish now we're gonna bake this in the oven um at 350 degrees for about 20 minutes you know we don't cook it too long um, but we do need to get that uh, that internal temperature up to about 165 uh, uh, on your on your stuff, and, and this will also, you know, kind of keep that fish from drying out. Now, what you can do is you can come in and add just a little bit of water if you wanted to, but I think I think we're going to be okay with that. Um, so here we go. We're going to we're going to take this sucker in the oven 20 minutes. Oh man! All right, while our um, imperial crab stuff flounder is in the oven uh, cooking it's time to start our steam broccoli now very simple very straightforward We're using a little bit of vegetable stock or vegetable broth we've got sprig of thyme we've got a little bit of lemon and then we're going to use some some of this beef bouillon to go on top that's kind of a little neat little little tip there and we're going to grab us some parsley here in a second but you know, first off, I'm going to use, what I'm going to use is this little steamer right here, a little vegetable steamer. It's kind of neat, isn't it? <laughs> so, here we are. We Right over here, we have, um, okay, close, close, there we go. We've got our, yeah, and that's warm, so we'll do this. We've got our, um, our vegetable stock kind of up to temperature, so we don't have to wait on that. Uh, I'm going to put this right here for the time being. So, I'm going to come in here. Uh, again, this is probably a cup, cup and a half of... Um, vegetable uh, broth so i threw my thyme in there just a little hit of pepper not a lot now i'm going to come over here and i'm going to grab one of these parsley stalks i just grabbed out in the backyard okay do that i'm going to break this up and then i'm going to tear these kind of start to loosen up some of those oils simple easy yes by all means now we're going to open up our Vegetable steamer. I'm gonna put that right in there. Looks like something's not quite right, but okay, no problem. <laughs> no problem at all. Now I'm gonna come and we're gonna put our broccoli in. Just like so. 
Okay, yes, there you go. And man, that's just about it. It really is. So, but I said I had this and this. So we're gonna we're gonna loosen this up. I'm gonna come in. We're gonna add a little bit of of um, lemon juice right on top of that. Oh yeah, man, it's gonna add so much. It's gonna keep it kind of should keep it nice, bright, and green like that. I think I'm gonna add just a tad more. It's probably gonna be about maybe a uh, couple tablespoons, just like that. Okay, now. Part two, or trick two. I'm gonna come in with some of this beef broth and I'm just gonna give it a nice little sprinkle. That's why I'm not using any, uh, any, any salt because this thing right here is kind of sort of loaded up with salt. But there you go, that's it right there. Simple, easy. Now I'm gonna put this over here and we're gonna steam it until it is to the doneness that you like. So I would probably start out maybe eight, 10 minutes, test it. Needs a little longer, cook it a little longer. A little less, well, it is what it is. <laughs> so, I tell you what, we're going to, I think that's cool or something. Yep, we're gonna cover this thing up. I think we are, yep, there we go, just like that. Okay, yep, there it goes. We're gonna steam that uh, while our flounder is cooking. And I tell you what, we're getting ready to plate the Imperial Crab Stuff Flounder served with our broccoli coming up real quick we are at the 20 minute mark yes we are you know what that means that means it's time to plate our imperial crab stuffed flounder now i've already got our um our broccoli here you might be looking at the broccoli going hmm a little overcooked well you know what i like it i like my vegetables cooked anyway that's just me feel free to cook your veggies however you want so i tell you what it is time to unveil our imperial crab stuffed flounder oh my check this guy and man it is bubbling and that means it's going to be hotter than you know what so i tell you what i'm going to be very careful Woo! yes there you go check that out oh man that looks good i did throw a little bit of paprika uh on there um about midway through that's another little option you can do but man check it out look at this we can come in here you know what we, you know we can do it just like this we got some lemons we got some limes now i'm going to come in here with a little bit of chopped parsley to add just a little bit of color no not a lot and then also i'm going to come in and i'm going to add a little bit of uh, zest from the lemon and my lime that's going to add just a little bit more kick just like that there it is that's it how about that, man? Come on, y'all. How quick and simple was that? I mean, really, there's hardly anything to it. So, man, I hope y'all give this thing a shot. Heck yeah, because down here we've got another one. It's the poor man's crab cake, sheep's head and scallop crab cake. Check that out up here. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. And I tell you what, please give this a shot. Let me know how it turns out. And I tell you what, until next time, God bless. And we'll see you soon.